friends, what's up? Welcome to my house. My husband and I recently renovated our home in South Carolina and I'm gonna show you guys all the updates that we've done. So, first off, we'll start with the porch. We, we, I painted this porch. It was an ugly green. We painted it gray just to be more of a neutral. And we also installed that light fixture that I love so much. I think it is so cute and just adds some coziness to the house. And of course, you're also getting the Christmas edition home tour because it's December. Here in the living room, we really didn't do much to this space, but the first big things that we did in this house is we completely redid all of the hardwood floors. They are original to the house. We just had them sanded and repainted. So they are original to the house and they are so beautiful. And I think they just bring the charm of the old house. And we also redid the electrical throughout the whole house. But in the living room, we really didn't do much. We just painted our wall color throughout the whole house it is Sherwin Williams Alabaster. And this little entrance was also double doors and we wanted to close it in to make this we bought it as a three bedroom and we wanted to make it a four bedroom to up the value of the house. So we added this door. And if you come in here, we currently don't need it as another bedroom. So it is our workout space. It's where we have the Peloton and I wanna get some more like free weights, things like that. But again, this is completely painted and that's all we really did to this room. Come on. We're gonna save the kitchen and the dining room for last because that's the best part of the house. So here is the guest room. We bought this and it had blue carpeting that was the same color as this fireplace. It was disgusting. So we just ripped the carpet up and they had original hardwoods underneath. So we just cleaned those up, painted the walls. I am gonna paint the fireplace. I just don't know which color I want to paint it yet. It'll probably end up being white, but stay tuned. Coming in here might be one of my favorite parts of the house so far, and that is the guest bathroom. Pretty much because it's the only place that's like really decorated and done. So here's the guest bathroom and I love how bright and airy it is. The tile floors were original and they're so beautiful and you just don't get tile floors like this anymore. So I wanted to keep those and make those the focal point of this bathroom. So we added some beadboard to the walls, brightened it up with some paint and some new fixtures, a beautiful new vanity. And I just think this is so nice, cozy, and beachy, and relaxing. Coming in here, this is my office. So this is my closet, office, beauty, glam room, babe cave, all of those things. So this is where all of my clothes are. None of the closets in the house really had space for the amount of clothes I have, and I just wanted a filming space. The bathrooms aren't big enough for like all my makeup and skincare. So just needed some space to do all of the things. Um, it's not really decorated right now, but it's slowly coming together with certain things. Got my makeup and hair care stuff all over here. My mirror that I do my try-ons and for <laughs> all of my um, like YouTube videos. This is the mirror I use and then have some clothes on a clothing rack and this nice shelf from Target, that's really nice. Um, but yeah, this is definitely a work in progress, but it's really nice to have my own space. So coming in here, this is our master bedroom. And this also had an ugly carpet. It was kind of like a yellow carpeting. And so we ripped that up and redid the trim, redid the painting in here and everything. This also right here was a door that went out to a little entryway at the back door. So we closed that up and put a door here instead to put a closet in this room. So it's really gross and we're not gonna zoom in, but this is Jacob's closet where all of his stuff is. And we put this really pretty barn door over it 
just because the room is kind of small so we wanted an accent piece but also functional that it's not a door that swings out it stays against the wall which we really like and the original closet in this room was right here and it backed up to another closet and also the other side of the closet was a kitchen if that makes sense so we combined the two closets that were back to back and went into the kitchen a little bit to do our master bath because none of the bedrooms had a bathroom connected and that was just something important that we wanted so it is a little it's not like a big master bath but it's definitely really nice to have and I wanted to do something really different the whole house is white which I love but I just want to give some excitement so we went for black hexagon tiles and a black vanity in here so here is the bathroom and I love it so much I feel like so glamorous in here um Jacob hand tiled this entire shower it took him so long to do we have this beautiful sliding glass door that was quite pricey and of course I picked brass fixtures which is way, much more expensive than black or silver fixtures. So here's a beautiful shower. It is so nice and so big. It's a real big step up from apartment life. And then we have this vanity, which I love. It's a 36 inch vanity, so it's smaller than the one in the guest bathroom. But this, we decided to go for a bigger shower in here versus a bigger vanity. And I think it's so pretty and like with all of the brass fixtures, this light fixture is just so fun and beautiful. I just love the vibe in here and it just makes me feel like a queen. Now for the main event, this, we're going to go into the kitchen. Um, but before we go in there, I wanted to show you guys right here. So this is, it now backs up to our master bathroom, but this was um, like a little linen closet beforehand that we closed up to make it our master bathroom. So we did that. And then coming here, this is the best room in the entire house. It is so beautiful. And from what this was before, it's just crazy. This used to be three separate rooms. So it was a tiny kitchen, a breakfast nook, and then the dining room. And so we took all of those walls down made it one big giant space, which is just so wonderful. If you turn around here, we shiplap this wall just to add some accents. And then the floating shelves are literally like my favorite part. They are so beautiful. We got these at every claimed wood shop in Greenville and they are just so beautiful and add so much to this kitchen. I have really just been throwing some stuff up there, but I really want to curate the home decor I put up there. And then on the other side of the shiplap wall is the master bathroom that we built out. So this was a part of the kitchen, but we just blocked it off to make that the master. And then back here, this is gonna be a little mudroom area. It's a little like exit foyer now. These stairs go out to the driveway, but before, Right here was the door that goes into the master bedroom. And right here was a door to a bathroom. It's now Jacob's closet is on the other side of here. And if you remember from the first video, you had to go upstairs to go to this bathroom. And it was the world's tiniest bathroom. It was so ugly and disgusting. So we closed that up, made it his closet. And this is gonna be a little mud room. We're gonna do little built-ins right here with like little lockers, things like that. And so coming back into the kitchen, we have these beautiful um, cabinet trees things. They, we got them all from Home Depot. And then these little brass handles right here is like our pantry and cleaning things. Countertops are quartz marble. We got them from Jacob's Work. He works for a granite company out of Elberton, Georgia, the um, granite capital of the world. <laughs> so we got all of these from his work, which was really nice. And here is our oven. This just came in this week. We love it so much. It has air frying capabilities and Wi-Fi. We haven't tried that out yet, 
but we're gonna air fry some wings in it tonight, so stay tuned. Got our microwave, the fridge of my absolute dreams. It's so wonderful. I really wanted a double open refrigerator with the sliding freezer, and it really is like, it's so wonderful. It's pretty unorganized and I have a kombucha problem, I know. It's like the world's most beautiful refrigerator of my entire life. The dishwasher was already here when we bought the house. They had bought this recently, so we just kept it. Um, since it's relatively new, we have a nice farmhouse sink that I'm not gonna show you because I have dirty dishes in there right now. But I love this kitchen and how bright it is. We do have some uh, beams up top that Jacob made. They are fake beams when we were looking at beams to put up there as a fun accent. They were just really pricey. So we just got some skins and Jacob built a box and we put the skins around the box. So they are hollow, they're really light and it was much more affordable to do that than buy big things of wood. And then we have these beautiful light fixtures. All of our light fixtures we've got were off Amazon, except for the one on the front porch. That one was Home Depot, but they're just so fun. We're gonna get some bar stools here, which is probably be where like Jacob and I eat our meals the majority of the time. But right now we have this nice kitchen table that we had in our apartment. It really doesn't fit the space. So we just need to upgrade all of our furniture, but I love my little tablescape for Christmas time. And we have this beautiful like lantern extended light fixture. This one is from Home Depot as well. And I just think it is so beautiful. I wanna add a hutch, a buffet, all of those things. So the size of this room was really the same, this dining room as what it was before. If you look at the beams, those are what divided the rooms. So that's why we put the beams there. Um, the breakfast nook in the middle and then the regular kitchen over there. And there's the dining room. And then over here is our office. So I work from home and there are certain days that Jacob works from home. So this will be our office space for then. When we got the house, this was completely wood paneled and we didn't know it was underneath, but we were redoing the electrical throughout the entire house. So we needed to take the paneling off to try to put um, electrical underneath of it. And we found that it was brick underneath and we just thought that would be a lot more fun than a wood paneled room. And this used to be apparently like 50 years ago, it was just an outdoor porch that they enclosed. So it's just a really cool, fun touch to the house. So it's completely brick. We, um, it was already painted white. We just painted it again, put up some blinds. I've got my nice desk and we'll build this out with like bookshelves. We'll put like a little couch in here and Jacob will get a desk, but it's super fun. We have like a new fan in here and it's just a nice place. I like looking out all the windows to see everyone coming by while I'm here at work. So. That is our completed home tour of all of the renovations we've done. It's crazy that I can just say all of this in such a short video when this took us 11 months to do. Jacob asked me last night, cause we just finished this yesterday. He was like, was it worth it? And I was like, I don't know yet, <laughs> stay tuned. Um, but it's been really fun to customize everything and really make it our own. And thank you guys for following along this journey. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up and I'll be sure to do more home decor videos soon. Also, I would really love if you guys would subscribe. 85% of my viewers are not subscribed. So it would just really help me out a lot if you guys would subscribe. So thank you guys so much and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.